Mine should be black or Asian. That's my personal preference. Um, mainly because of compatibility and similarities and um, lifestyle and the type of food that we eat. I don't want to be thrown into like, the Russian abyss. Like, come on, man. That's just not for me personally. There's nothing against Russians. Definitely not. I once again always look at the person. People say then therefore, so why have you always been like in relationships with 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 with, with the black people? <laughs> with black people. And, and and my question is positioning. Because of what I do, my position is usually very consistent. You know, um I don't do a lot. I don't club, I don't drink, so I don't go out to meet people out there. Most of the people that I've met have met through the church because that is the majority of what I do. And most churches that I go to, unfortunately, they are black orientated. And, 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 and whether that this is because we need to be more culturally inclusive when we're dealing our programs, I don't know. But uh, I have not only traveled to African countries, I've been to the States. And when I went to, state, to the States, I was touring. And most of the churches I was invited to were black Americans. When I went to Canada, they were Canadians, but they were like black Canadians. You know, when I went to Amsterdam, they were like, again, it's like black people. They're in different countries, but they're black people. They're not even Zimbabwean because I'm Zimbabwean. Some of them are Nigerian, some of them are Ghanaian, Canadians, Americans, but ultimately they're black. So consequently, the, 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 my, my findings are always in that circle. So not necessarily because that's my preference per se. If you're cultured and you have all the qualities that I've listed uh, before, then listen, we're good to go. So in the past, I had an Albanian ex-boyfriend and he was a Jehovah's Witness too. And that was just like the complete wrong combination. So I just never go back there again. But I'm open to other cultural backgrounds and races. <laughs> Once again, I'm a very traditional person and very rooted in my culture. I would like to think so anyway. So, um, yeah, I think it's important. But then again, with race, I feel like that's not important. If I was to... Obviously, you can't always choose who you... Like, you can't always choose who your life partner is. You choose, obviously, but then again, when you meet someone who's a different race... And you find that they meet your needs. I can always tell them about my culture in it and my, you know, my traditional things that we do, and make him known to it, and know and let him know that I stand by that. So I think, but definitely, it's important for me culture and all that stuff. But it will make it easy if obviously my life partner was also the same thing, had the same beliefs in my in their culture. Etc. Um, before quarantine, or the beginning of quarantine, I thought um, it was important, but now I realise it's not really important. That's the honest truth. It's, it's not as important. You just need to connect with the soul. You need, you need to connect with someone, and you need to be on the same page as someone. And all families just need to comply. We all need to come together. At the end of the day, the the day you know, we're all going to be a family. You know, I have my preference, but you never know. My life partner, you know, could be Stacey down the road. <laughs> you just never know. You know, or Judy over there. But if it's me, it, it could be meant for it could be meant to be that I'm supposed to be having beans on toast every morning. It it, it could <laughs> and Sunday roast on the Sunday. <laughs> what if it's meant to be? You know, so it's just about. People that are, just because you're black, it doesn't it doesn't mean it doesn't mean like you're 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 for me. It doesn't mean that. So yeah. Why before quarantine? What what happened during just quarantine? having conversations and with people, seeing how they are, man. Yeah. And also with the Black Lives Matter, I started to notice that you know people they they 
they use this 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 black narrative as a scapegoat, and they they take it with them in all aspects of their lives. So, unfortunately, it can't really apply to your love life. It's just like choosing friends. You're not really going to choose your friends because they're black or whatever. No, they're just your friends. So yeah. Absolutely, for me personally. So, I've always loved African men. For me, it's not a thing about being black. I love African men, specifically. Um, I have dated other races and other different cultures. Uh, but because I have, uh, like, an African culture myself, because, well, I'm mixed race, my mum's white British, my dad is black African, it seems to fit in more with my lifestyle and my beliefs, which I think is very important in a relationship. If you just want to dabble and have some fun, then yeah, anyone, but if you want to be serious and you think about kids and marriage, culture, I'd say culture matters, race doesn't matter. I, I wouldn't say race really matters.